Hello my fellow readers. I am back once again to play my TBR game and choose my TBR for February. And just a recap. So last month I chose <laughs> two light novels. So I've been playing a TBR, a TBR uh, game to bring down my light novel <laughs> uh, hoard. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Uh, giant TBR shelf of light novels um, where I pick two light novels uh, and then I play another TBR game to choose one library book and then I also do my ultimate reading challenge. So for January my choices were um, My Happy Marriage Volume 2 which I read and was a good volume to mm, probably will renew another uh, review in another video so I don't want to talk too much about it. Um, but essentially it does go deeper into the relationship between Kyoka and Mio. So, and then there's other parts of Mio that get revealed, but I'm not going to talk about it because again, review. Uh, and then this one, actually I'm finishing today. So I'm not hundred percent. Well, I'm done with the main story. I just have an epilogue into side stories to read. Um, but the other one was the King of the Dead at the Dark Palace. Um, and this was really fun too. And I got to review this one. Um, but essentially is dealing with necromancy and then also these, like, they call them ender knights, but they're kind of like holy knights that um, go against the necromancers and the unholy, like, living dead. So this was super fun. I liked it and I will have to review both of these, but I got through my January TBR. I, of course, um, read a lot of other stuff too, or listened to the audiobooks of them. So <laughs> this is just like my targeted reading. Um, for my library TBR one, uh, I picked uh, Just the Nicest Couple, I think is the name of it. It's the Mary Kubica book, it was the latest release. It was like just out in January. So I borrowed the ebook from my library and um, I liked it so much, I actually bought it as a gift for someone else, so it still got my other support as well. And then for the ultimate reading challenge, I had to read a novella. Um, I did not choose one that was, well, okay. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm finishing two novellas and will be done very shortly. So the one that I had initially chosen for this one is Dawn Shard, and I am a good chunk of the way done with it. Um, this one is technically longer than 200 pages, but it's under 300, so it's still a novella. It's just a longer novella. Um, plus, it's really random to say page length like that because you see the size of this book. It's really short, um, like small kind of book. So even though there's not many pages, it can be based on the um, print um, and font. So it's whatever. Th this is the one that I chose for that. And it is a book that takes place in between, um, oh shoot, what were the last two called? <laughs> it's it's the, the, the current last two in the Stormlight Archive. I think it was in between the latest release and the one before that. So. It's just a little short story that happens there. Um, another like sea adventure. So <laughs> my Brandon Sanderson books <laughs> for this time period have been like sea voyages. Um, yes. And yeah, it's, it's good. Um, but at the same time, I did want to say I'm also finishing another novella that I totally had forgotten about, even though I think I think I might have gotten it in like the day I was filming <laughs> and then I forgot, <laughs> but it's the Mysteries of Thorn Manor. So either one doesn't matter. I read a novella. Um, so the little prize for that. No tassel. <laughs> so cute. The little prize for that is like a little bookmark and it says there are a lot of, a lot of books in here. Uh, two sides. I don't know if it'll decide to focus. Probably not. <laughs> uh, 
Anyway, really cute little bookmark. That's what's kind of fun about this is that there are little tiny <laughs> prizes in here and I'm not really a prize person, but it's kind of fun. As in like, I like the challenge itself. I don't have to have a prize, but it's kind of nice to have a prize. Uh, I also realized that I should have been doing two a month after I t did the video. So, um, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to see if I have finished one. There is one. <laughs> There's one on here that I literally cannot do because it's visit a local bookstore. I don't have a local bookstore. That sounds tragic, and it kind of is, but like literally we don't have a bookstore. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go with read a book published this year, and I'm just gonna do uh, Tress of the Emerald Sea since I did complete that book. That way January is officially done with stuff that I did in January. Oh, inside of this one is little um, sticky tags. So if you're reading your book and you want to make note of a line or passage, you can do that with little sticky tags. I have so many of these, but they are, um, they are handy. I do like them. I tend to use them more with like my notes than I do with books, but that's, that's fine. Okay. So the other thing is, um, originally I was going to just try to go straight across, but I'm not going to do that anymore because some of these are harder. So they're going to take more time for me to think about. So I found one that I'm going to do, uh, because they're kind of three together. So I'm going to do these three for February and they are Go to your favorite section of the library or bookstore, blindly take a book off the shelf, and take it home to read. Now, <laughs> this is cheating, but not really cheating. Um, <laughs> we're currently doing blind date with a book, so I took a book on a blind date. <laughs> so, um, you don't know what the title is, you just pick it up and take it. And uh, I have that, so I'm going to do this for February. And also, uh, this is an activity, so I think this will be easy to do. It's write down a favorite quote or passage from a beloved book and display it in your home. So I will create that in February. And then uh, the other thing to do is read a book that's been sitting on your shelf unread for more than a year. So I'm going to pick out one of my things. that have been sitting here for a long time. And I think, I think what I'm gonna choose, and I know they've been sitting here for a while, is to catch up on my, uh, volumes of the Ancient Magus Bride. So I could check and just make sure that volume 13 came out more than a year ago or around a year ago. So and then I'd have a book and a manga because I really want to catch up on my manga as well. I mean, it definitely feels like it's been more than a year, but <laughs> we'll see. Pub date, pub date. Yep, this came out in 2020. Shocking. And then I'll probably read a couple of volumes because I have uh, a few to catch up on. Volume 14 came out. Twenty twenty one. I don't even remember if I have 16. <laughs> I just saw like 16s on there and I'm like, I don't even know if I have that. Um, 
but that one came out in 2021 as well. So yeah, I've definitely had these for a while. And if I do have 16, it's probably been over a year as well. So it looks like um, for this one, my ultimate challenge, I'll have a little project to do as well as read a couple volumes of manga and my blind date with a book. So there is my TBR from the ultimate reading challenge. But let's play my TBR game and see which light novels I'll be doing and then maybe a library book. So before I go for it, I always like to do a quick shuffle <laughs> just to make sure I don't know where I left them. And if you didn't get to watch the January video, what you do is you have the draw cards. So for light novels, I'll be doing two draws of the draw cards. And then you choose from your game cards and they direct you on which ones to pick. So let's go. So I have to pick from the middle. That doesn't seem too bad. I'll go right here in the middle and let's see what I got. So it says, <laughs> why do I always get this one? I mean, I'll do it anyway, but it's randomly generate a number and read that book on your shelf. So I'm going to set that aside so I don't pull it again. <laughs> there we go. Let's get the generator. And I went with number three, which is, let me just slide these things. That are, I, set, I set stuff on top of the books. That was really smart of me. Um, so I got number three and the third book on there is Cross-Dressing Villainous Cecilia Sylvie, volume two. So I guess I'm going with uh, that one. So that's our first light novel TBR. And then hopefully, and we'll set that one aside over there. I'll shuffle my draw cards again just to make sure. Okay, here we go. Pick two cards and decide which one you want to read. Why do I feel like I had that one as well? Uh, okay. I'm just going to shuffle these. I'm trying to remember what the one that I got before did. Okay, here's two. So read a book with your favorite color or read a book that matches your favorite bookmark. I think I'm going to do... Um, I think I said color, but it's cover. Read a book with your favorite cover. So I have to pick like which cover I like the most. I know it's not these two because they're boring. up there. What am I drawn to? Like if I look at these, most of the ones I have here are sequels. Except for one. Oh, this is, this is actually hard. I'm not sure which one. Okay, not these two. Those are not my favorites. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I'm also kind of looking at the uh, page count just to see if they're all about the same, and I think they are. Um, I'm really torn. 
I think I'm going to save that one. But I'm really torn between these two. So there's Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter, Volume 2, or Seventh Time Loop, uh, Novel 1. Very similar, to be honest. I think I'm actually going to go with Volume 1 of Seventh Time Loop. The villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. <laughs> because there's something dynamic about it. Maybe because it's a Volume 1. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think this might also be the longest, but you know what? Don't care. And again, since I'm doing like two a month, <laughs> it's fine. We'll get to the other ones that I didn't pull yet. So that's it for my light novels. So from the library game, the draw card is pick two cards and decide which one you want to read. <laughs> Why do I feel like I always draw the same cards? <laughs> okay. So I picked out two. Um, there's read a book by your favorite author and read the same book a friend recently loaned from the library. Oh, this is hard. I'm just trying to think, like, are there any authors, like, favorite authors that have released anything that I haven't read? Hmm. One is coming, and I think it's out this month. So maybe. Let me just... I just have to check the release date of this book to make sure... It's out or will be out in time. Yes. Okay. So the book I'm going to look for and borrow from the library is Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones, who's one of my favorite horror authors. And I'm really looking forward to that book. So that's the one I'm going to be borrowing for February. Um, I don't know when this will be up, but at this point the book isn't released. It's set to release on Tuesday. So this might be out like the day after. So uh, yeah, my book of choice is Don't Fear the Reaper. So I'll be buying, I'll be buying, I'll be borrowing that from the library. So yay, look forward to that. And there you have it. That's my set February TBR. Um, once again, I'll just go over my choices. So we have uh, from the library, Don't Fear the Reaper. My uh, books that have been on my shelf for over a year, The Ancient Magus Pride. Um, a book taken blindly off the shelf. Uh, that's my blind date with a book. Uh, my two light novels are Cross-Dressing Villainous Cecilia Sylvie and The Seventh Time Loop. And that is it for this video. Happy reading for February. Until next time. Bye.